New satellite images show the damage at a Russian-occupied airbase in Crimea is far worse than the Kremlin has led on. Russia annexed Crimea in 2014 and has remained in control of territory ever since. The base was shelled earlier this week. The Ukrainian government claims at least eight warplanes were destroyed. Zelensky puts the number higher. Images of the attack show deep craters and scorched earth. Experts say the attack indicates a possible turning point in Russia's invasion of Ukraine. CBS News foreign correspondent Charlie Dagada joins us with more now from Kriravi, Ukraine. Charlie, welcome. Great to see you. So how significant was this blow to the Russian military and what does it mean for Ukraine's momentum? It, well, I guess, first of all, we have to look at what it means militarily. Uh, according to Ukrainian officials and Pres President Zelensky, as many as eight or nine aircraft were destroyed at that air base. These are important aircraft. It, if, if that's true, if it's accurate, it will be far and away the largest loss of Russia military fire or air power uh, since this conflict began. Now, the question is, how exactly did it happen? Because it's not just from a military standpoint in terms of trying to degrade Russian air power in this region, but how exactly did they reach Crimea? That is where it gets a little bit murky. The Ukrainian government won't say exactly how this happened. They will only say that American uh, supplied weapons weren't involved. Was it an air attack? Was it sabotage? Was there another way? Suicide drones have also been mentioned. But what's important here is this is an attack in Crimea, more than 100 miles from the closest uh, front line. And it shows that they not only have the reach, but they're willing to extend that reach. And it's important psychologically because Crimea is a place that President Putin has said is sacred, essentially, to the Russians. So is it Russian territory as, as far as the Kremlin is concerned? It's not just Russian territory, but it's newly recaptured Russian territory. As far as Ukraine is concerned, this is Russian-occupied territory. So from a military standpoint, it is extremely damaging in terms of Russian firepower. Uh, from a psychological standpoint and for morale here uh, in Ukraine, it is hugely significant because it shows that they are able to attack Russia far behind enemy lines and uh, able to degrade uh, Russia's forces. And you may have seen those pictures at the beach where you've got uh, tourists, uh, beachgoers who had to scramble off that beach. Imagine being more than 100 miles from where you think the fighting is going on and seeing those mushroom, excuse me, those clouds the explosions going off in the background and having to scramble from the beach. This is a major significant step forward for Ukrainian forces. Absolutely. And it's quite the shock, Charlie, as you said, not just for the tourists, but for Russia. Talking about this instant of this instance, uh, yesterday I know Zelensky was talking about how all of these mounting losses for Russia should lead uh, Russia to, to just step out of the war, to walk away. How has Russia responded to the attack? Well, in this area, I can tell you, we've spoken to regional commanders. We're in the southeast region at Kriar V. Uh, we were at Mykolaiv just this morning. We went to the front lines, undisclosed locations in the front lines. There are air raids going off behind me as we speak. Uh, there was an immediate retaliation. So a commander said in the past 24 hours or so since that attack, for whatever it was, in Crimea, uh, it was immediate and it was brutal. So up and down this long front line, there are two front lines, or if you want to call it connected front, that's thunder, <laughs> connected front lines between the south and the east. But what we've seen here in the south is an increase in the intensity. And this all comes, we have to frame it out, we, this all comes at a time where Ukrainian forces are getting ready to, to mount a massive counterattack, counteroffensive. It is their intention to retake uh, the capital of Kherson, that region of Kherson. This is the only place that the Russians have been able to take, capture, and hold. Ukrainians are intent on taking that over, and it is exactly in this region that they're preparing to mount this attack. So right after what we saw in Crimea a couple of days ago, there was an immediate Russian retaliation, and the Ukrainians are not only bracing for what the Russians have to throw at them, but they're preparing for their own counterattack and counter or offensive in this region. Mm -hmm. Right, and sounds like accumulating some momentum. Charlie Dagada, thank you.